As you can see, we've already powered this instrument up. You simply do that by pressing the power button. You'll hear the pump start operating and it will count down for about 60 seconds. That's to allow the, uh, the sensors to stabilize and get ready to operate this instrument. Now, in order to uh, see the backlight, and that's one of the really nice features with this instrument is the backlight. As you can see, when I hit the uh, power button again, it's got a very, very, very bright backlight on it. It's for a dark basement or crawl space or wherever you'll be able to see the test results very easily. Uh, now we'll go into how to set up the instrument. You'll notice this F2 button is under the menu. We'll hit F2. First thing that comes up is the fuel button. This instrument will do just about any type of fuel you can, you can imagine, anything from natural gas, uh, number two, number four, number six oil. It will also do propane, kerosene, wood, and coal. Let's say we're going to set it up to do number two oil, for example. I'd set it, the cursor to number two, and then again, that green button in the middle is the enter button. I'll hit enter. And that, you can see up at the top here, it's now set up for number two oil. We'll go back to the menu by hitting the F2 button. Scroll down to pressure. This is where we would measure draft pressure, gas pressure, whatever, to zero the instrument out. As you notice there, it says zero. We'll hit F2 to zero it. It says disconnect. Really, all you need to do is pull the probe out and make sure that it's um, you know, just uh, out in the open. Um, hit enter, and that should zero out the reading. Now we can either do gas pressure, draft pressure, whatever, uh, uh, whatever pressures you want to read, anything up to 27 water column inches. When we get back, we'll hit escape. We'll go to temperature. Okay, this is where you measure delta T. If I've got two thermocouples plugged into the bottom of the instrument, I can measure temperature rise, temperature drop, anything of that nature. Now to access the test results that we've saved in the memory, we'll go to the, bring the cursor to the memory button, we'll hit enter, the memory directory, we'll hit enter. Right now it's loading the test results, and I'd scroll down to the time and date that I took that particular test that I'm interested in looking at, hit the middle green enter button, and there are my test results. To get out of that screen, simply hit the escape button, kind of back you through it, and we're back to the menu. Um, the next menu button is Setup. Hit Enter. This is where you go in to set the type of temperature units, uh, uh, centigrade or Fahrenheit, uh, the pressure units, uh, pascals, millibars, uh, water column inches, whatever. Um, this is where you also set the clock for the time and, um, and date. Um, this is where you set the uh, oxygen reference for the carbon monoxide reading, which is typically called carbon monoxide air free reading. Uh, scroll down some more. Um, this is where you determine whether you want the uh, uh, test results from the pressure reading to print out on the printer or not. A lot of times you're taking uh, combustion and, and, and draft readings from different places. You might not want to necessarily have a print out of the same location. We also have a zoom feature on this instrument. I really like this feature. We'll hit enter. We'll hit zoom. Okay, now when I go back to the instrument, you can see here we've got just zoomed into just two readings as opposed to seeing all the readings at once. Okay, we're going to go back into menu, back to the setup. Okay, we just finished zoom. Okay, you can also with this instrument, you can set the uh, uh, printout so that it'll have your company name, your phone number, maybe even a customer name if you want to. There's three lines of text available. This is one of the nicest features that, uh, that I think this instrument has, called the run hold format. We hit enter, edit format. Now I'm able to make this instrument display any order that I prefer. My own personal preference would be oxygen, CO air free, and stack temperature. I can set this instrument up so that in the display, um, it's, it's whatever order I prefer. Okay, we'll hit escape again to back out of there.